Welcome back. This week we take a little break from the ongoing project of my electronic steering wheel slash rudder truck IP68 project. Uh, card here, link in the description. And instead do a little maintenance on my Proxon PD250 slash E lathe, namely on the tailstock. Enjoy. There are actually two reasons I think the tailstock needs some maintenance. Uh, the first one I'm absolutely sure about, uh, if you look at the hand wheel, yeah, it moves under gravity. <laughs> Just here uh, from the additional weight on that side. Does it work on this side too? Uh, yeah, yeah, almost. So yeah, that's far to lose. That's far to lose because that uh, results in just vibrations, yeah, retracting the tailstock. And uh, that is catastrophic, to say the least. And the second reason, and there I'm not quite sure, maybe I have imagined things, but if I extend the tailstock quite a bit, I feel that there is play in here. Too much play. Oh, oh, I think I can show you. Have a look at that gap here. If I put some load on the tailstock, and I'm not talking about that wiggle here, that's normal. Yeah. There is, if the tailstock is quite extended, there's actually some play in there. And yeah, even here, there's some play. And that's not good. Let's get the tailstock off first and then disassemble it. Uh, to get it off you just yeah, loosen the bolt and quite a bit. Not too much otherwise the <laughs> backing plate will fall off. And then you just slide it. Yeah, that was not enough. Loosen it a little bit more then we have enough space to slide it here over the hand wheel of the machine. There we go. If we would have loosened that bolt even more, the backing plate here would have completely <laughs> fallen off. Yeah, we will clean that. And yeah. Uh, uh, disappeared between the ways of the machine. There's a little washer here. You can remove it, but uh, yeah, I won't remove it because, will I? Yeah, I will remove it. Okay. Um, yeah, next step also very easy. Uh, <laughs> if you own that machine, you probably know that. If you just extend <sighs> the tailstock far enough, that thing will just, yeah, ooh, ooh, <clears throat> yeah, cleaning action, fall out. And uh, please remember that groove here because that groove keeps that from rotating and it should be, uh, yeah, interact with that a little bit dark with that grub screw here. So let's get that grub screw out. Just as a matter of course. Yeah, the lighting is a little bit tricky. So that's grub screw number one. And we have an identical scrub grub screw on that side and if we take that one out and this is really hard in okay we should be able to pull that part out and you see uh, that's the groove that grub screw is sitting on and it can really press because this is freely rotating okay we take that thing aside for now. Uh, there's no need to disassemble that. And that only leaves us with 
this bolt and nut. And that actually adjusts the play we just saw when I extended that, that uh, wobble here. Okay, now the washer and screw and the nut and that's all. There's nothing else here but uh, the little bit more complex assembly uh, inside here so you can turn the scale and it has some friction and that one here. Yeah, this is all held together by that cap nut here and we will have to adjust that too a little bit I think but uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me first clean all the parts and then we uh, put it together. Uh, especially, I want to clean here also on the inside there. Yeah, yeah, there is some debris here and on the backing plate and uh, it's gotten all a little bit <clears throat> grubby over time. Please note, these are two different grub screws. Okay, this has a, a pointed end here and is interacting with that groove here. And you really can, yeah, talk that down. And the one here with the flat end, a little cylinder that's running, and can I get that in focus, in that groove. And you shouldn't. <clears throat> tight that down as fast as possible because then this part will no longer move. So let's clean that stuff real quick and I'm using just a denaturated alcohol and as long as my thingy here is <laughs> new and clean I'm first cleaning out the moss taper. You don't really want any oil in your moss taper. Yeah, was not that dirty. The rest, yeah, the threads look all good. No problem here. That feels a little bit dry, a little bit oil on the actual threads would be nice. So all in all, yeah, there's a little bit in here. By the way, this is really the only groove here that uh, we formed groove that's riding on one of the ways and uh, keeping that thing aligned. Uh, this is just your sliding on the other way. And here's our backing plate, which has uh, a wee bit debris on it. This is not really a precision part. It's just, yeah. <clears throat> pulling that thing down onto the waist. I'm not sure if that has <laughs> a top side and a, a top and a bottom. There's a little bit of pitting here too. And that's it. To reassemble the whole thing, we first put on the backing plate again. And yeah, that was the slightly bent washer. And that bolt here, just if you get confused, that bolt here is longer than the other bolt. Okay, significantly longer. So <clears throat> it also has a shoulder here. So uh, you should be able to distinguish the two. There's really no wrong way, I hope to put on the backing plate. I just make that hand tight here if I can. And if the backing plate is back on, we just slide it uh, onto the waist again. 
And yeah, I did clean <coughs> the waste too. Now the right way. Yeah, here's the weak groove. Here is the pyramid shaped way. Okay, tightened that a little bit too much. No problem. We just loosen it a little bit more. And it slides on and then I torque it down. That will make a having it here on the lathe will make <coughs> the assembly of the rest uh, much easier. Okay, now we just insert the wheel and yeah, this is a funny angle here and insert the grub screw with a tip that will hold the whole thing. You remember that groove inside here. And you can really torque that thing down, okay? This is really just to hold it in place. You can spin the wheel freely here. No problem. Torque that down. Uh, then we just slightly insert the other grub screw with a cylinder formed end. Slide that thing back in. And if that is able to turn, we are not deep enough with that grab screw. Uh, we have to get it, uh, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, getting out again. That thing has to fit into the groove. Until you cannot turn that by its own. By its own. Am I in focus? Ah, yeah, it's okay. Let me refocus. Oh, it should be better. Uh, yeah, don't tighten that down too hard. This can be a little bit loose. So hand tight, okay? Just with two fingers. That's enough. Okay, uh, I don't know how I should film that, but... Um, I'm inser inserting the bolt here from that side and then we turn around and I will reset the camera now. Okay, from that side we put on the nut and you see it's still all very overexposed and easy going. So we tighten down that nut now from the other side. I still want to be able to move it. Yeah, that's too much. Still too much. Okay. And uh, I totally forgot to oil the whole thing, which is uh, no problem. I just open up, oops, that bolt again. Uh, Ah, uh, ah, uh. there's a little bit too much friction for my taste, so I'm loosening up that grub screw again. Yeah, that's better. And we just put some oil just on the threads. And on the outside, just a little. And on the groove, into the groove. Okay, much better. And now once again, tightening up that until I have really some friction. Not too much. But enough that the wheel, yeah, that's just the backlash, will not move by its own from gravity. Maybe we can tighten it even a little bit more. Yeah, that feels about right. Okay, and now a close up if that thing here is still moving when I'm pressing on it. 
So I'm almost fully extended and let me zoom in further. Okay, there's nothing moving here. That's, uh, I mean, it's still deflecting, but uh, yeah, that's almost not noticeable. That's it for today. Yeah, uh, really, there's nothing complex about that tailstock here on that lathe. Uh, but yeah, uh, it wiggles all the bolts and nuts. They wiggle free from vibration when you're using that thing a lot and now yeah, there is some force now required, but that thing is no longer moving <laughs> by its own, just by the gravity, uh, by the force of gravity of uh, the grab handle here. So that's good, and there's no longer uh, any noticeable play here at the front. And yeah, it was clean, it was easy to do, no problem at all. And next week we'll continue by using the lathe to making the shaft <laughs> for my little electronic steering wheel. Till then, bye!